パスタパスタダッパスタダッグダッチュッオッケーかかってる<笑>はい。The first one is by San Carlo. It's called Pio Gusto Fresco Picante. It looks like、uh, it looks like potato chips. Yes, I'm sure it is potato chips. Gusto menta e peperoncino. Oh, a little bit, a little bit spicy. Maybe, maybe because there is a picture of chili、oh, peppers. It's red and、um, a little bit red, red color. Mint. I'm not sure what it is, but、um, mm. yeah, it is red. Red. Color. It is red color.、Mm. Oh, and it smells good. That was good. It kind of sounds like barbecue sauce. Hi. Ding. Saikimasu. Mmm. Mmm. Good. Nice、zone. texture. Mmm. Nice, nice texture. Crisp texture.、Mm. That's、mm. the best thickness. Mmm. -hmm. It's、For、not、me. too thin <laughs> and not too thick. Because I know you don't like it too thin or too thick. Right? He's, he is a potato chip snob. That's what he is. I stopped eating potato chips. When I was 17, and I didn't eat potato chips until I met you. Really? Mm hmm. Because for your health? For my health, and you know, I was a bit overweight when I was younger. Yes,、yeah, see? But now I love them. I love them, and it's because of you. I love this. Next time, I will report Japanese. Uh, unique taste potato chips. Oh, that's a great idea. <laughs> We have some really funky Japanese potato chip flavors here. Some of the flavors are crazy. <laughs> They're like super, super crazy. Like、um, uh, beef tongue. Beef tongue. Oh, fruit flavors. Fruit flavor. Like orange and apple. Apple. Actually, I, I did a review last year on that the fruit flavor potato chips. Right. Yeah, I did a review with Justin. If you want to check that out, it's up there. Check it out. The next one is Crostini Doratti a l a Campagnola. <laughs> On the back, it says that、uh, this is also made in Milan and they suggest eating in different ways um, um, with soup or with an appetizer or something. I can't read it, but there are many ways that you can、mm. eat these crackers.、Mm -hmm. How are they? Too easy. Mmm! This is the first time that I eat such like cracker.、Mm -hmm. Delicious. Delicious.、Mm. Surprise! You can just eat it like this.、Mm. Yes. And, and it's, I think it's good with salad. Salad.、Mm. Like croutons?、Mm -hmm. mm. I think this would be good with tomato soup too.、Mm, I, I can、so、imagine、too. floating、mm. on tomato soup.、Mm. Yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. Really nice spices,、mm. spices to this one.、Mm. Delicious c o s t i n i d o r a t i by San Carlo. The next thing is pesto. Pesto, pesto sauce. sauce. Pesto sauce. I love this. We both love this love, so love, much. Love, love this. We used to make this all the time before、yep. YouTube did. Yes. <laughs> Why don't we make this now? We used to make it every time. What we have here is a bowl of freshly cooked pasta. That's a l o s h i b o l a Thank you. And we're gonna mix the paste pesto. With the spaghetti. You have、yes. a plate? Yes. There you go.、Mm, okay. I think that's enough for a food test. But we're gonna mix it up with the pasta. Mix, mix, mix. Okay, wow, that's a lot of pesto. But I think it's good for us because we love pesto. I like m o s s Bon appetito. I love this sauce.、Mm. How is it? Mmm. Is it good? Mmm. Yeah. Mmm. t a k i m a s a k i m a s Mmm. Mmm. Delicious. So good taste. Mmm. Mmm. This、uh, pesto classico by Beefy, and it looks like it's made in Milan. This is 1852, so it must be a really, really old company. But、um, I am a huge fan of this. It's delicious. I think this would go really good on toast as well. Yeah, I think so. Right?、Mm -hmm. Right? And maybe even a sauce for fish. 
パスタパスタダパスタダグダチュ OK かかってる OK <笑> Right So whatever This is a anchovy, anchovy sauce. sauce We are both fans of anchovies I don't like anchovies on pizza I don't like anchovies on pizza Only pizza you hate、mm, Only on pizza Of course I don't like them as is But I do like them in sauces I like them in salad dressings And I love them in pasta So、um, that's how we're gonna try it today So we have more pasta here And we are going to mix this pasta だきゅうけばれんや<笑> Inside OK I'm just gonna put a little bit Let's put some of that sauce、mm-hmm. inside、mm-hmm. Not too much, not too much because This is a n c h o v y Yeah, usually it is. Okay, alright. That looks good. Hi, dozo. Bon appetito. Is it bon appetito or is it bon appetito in Italian? Have you ever been to、uh, Italy? Uh, yes, um, but only to Venice.、Mm. Um, and I only stayed there for、mm. one night.、Mm. How is it? Good too. It's good?、Mm. Really? Mm. Really? t h a n k you. Oh, but of course, it tastes、mm. like fish. It's great, but it's very good.、Mm. It's really good. I got a giant chunk of sauce in my mouth right now. <laughs> a little salty. So it's really salty, <laughs> but the taste is fantastic.、Mm. Mm. It's really good.、Um, I wonder what else you can use this with.、Um, please let us know, Italian friends. How else can we use this、um, balenia sauce? Because we have a whole tube. We're not really sure how else to use it though. So let us know in the comments down below. The next thing is t a l a l i n i t a l a l i n i Oh. And they look like crackers. Crackers. And it looks like it's made with、um, olive oil. t a l a l i n i di b a l e l e t t a alla olio di oliva. Oh, very good though. Very good though. <laughs> These crackers. Look like、um, they are made in Milan. I've never been there. Have you ever been to no, Milan? No. no? I've been to、uh, Venice,、um, Venezia, yeah. and、um, Plense, and, and Rome. And Roma. Roma. So jealous. Me, one night in Venice. Just one night in Venice? Just was not long enough. Oh my it god. Was, it was on the way to somewhere. It, is it the、mm. only experience, experience of Italy? Yes, it is.、Oh. Now I really feel like going to Italy.、Mm. But you know, we have to go to Germany to meet our German friends. Yes, we have to go. Yeah, but I really want to go to Italy too.、Oh. Yes. German to Italy. That's true. Okay, we almost forgot it was a food review. <laughs> Thank you, boss. Nice. This reminds me of Italian bread. Mm. Is it pasta? Pasta? Farina di grano tenero. Farina, is that flour? <laughs> I don't know, but it's delicious. I, I like it. it. It's very light tasting. It's not hard. I thought it was going to be harder. And、um, I just have a feeling that、um, Isis wanted us to eat it with the、uh, pesto sauce. See?、Si. Or、mm. it's, it's either that or it's something I wanted、And、to try. Was, yeah. Yeah. t a k i m a s This is with that pesto sauce that we mixed in with the pasta. How is it? Mmm, delicious. A man of few words and silence. The next one is Risotteria.、Mm-hmm. And this is by Knorr.、Uh, we have Knorr in Japan as well. It's a very popular brand here. And, um, But we don't have risotto. We don't have risotto. No, no, no. So, this is something that we actually have to prepare, so we're gonna do that right now. It's gonna take about 15 minutes, so we'll be right back. Now, it's been 15 minutes, and this is what it looks like. It looks、mm. creamy, and it smells wonderful. wonderful. Oh my god. Smell it. Smell that porcini. Mmm. Mmm. Must be delicious. It must be delicious. Okay, I'm gonna take a bite first because I can't wait. Mmm. 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 Fantastic. Mmm. Mmm. The rice is perfect. 
It's not mushy at all. It has a bite into the rice. Mm. Mm -hmm. Very, very strong taste. Very good. Mm -hmm. I can mm. really taste the porcini mm. mushrooms mm. in this one. Mm. I just want to point out that this brand, well, this package has no conservatives, right? No preservatives. <laughs> no preservatives and no MSG. And it's all natural and um, ready in 15 mm. minutes. And um, I love this. Very natural. Yeah, I wish, wow. I, I wish we had this in Japan. If we did, oh, I would probably oh. buy this. Sweet time. Sweet time. All right. And the first one is by this company called Grisby. Grisby. It looks like a hazelnut type of cookie. Oh. Yeah. And um, it says nochiola. Nochiola. I wonder if that means hazelnut. Nochiola. nochiola. Maybe. Hazelnuts. I don't know. Uh, Hazelnuss. That's German. Yeah, I learned that word from all the German food hauls that we did. But um, yeah, let's take a bite. Hazelnuts. Hazelnut, yeah. <laughs> Hi, Mouse. There you go. Oh. Outside is cocoa? Outside is cocoa. Outside mm -hmm. is cocoa. Mm -hmm. And the inside is hazelnut. It's a hazelnut mm -hmm. cream. Mm. It's really nice. The next one comes in this really beautiful can. Mm -hmm. Miste Dissetanti. And it's Miste Dissetanti. Mm -hmm. And I think it's Leone. from a company, yeah, from Leone, called Leone. And it says 1857. So I guess this must be a very old company as well. I'm gonna open it up and it's really colorful inside. I chose white one. And I got the pink one. Surprise! Hmm. It's soft. Is yours soft? No, hard. It's hard? Mine just squished between my teeth. Really? Then maybe I'll try the white one. Oh! The white one is hard! <laughs> oh! What is this? Mmm! What is this? It's um, I don't know, it's candy. It's soft. It's soft. It's soft. Pink one means soft. Mm. Okay, there's some English uh, writing on the back. It says, since 1857, Leone has been a proprietor of the most refined taste, both for the exquisite flavor of the candy originals produced using traditional bronze modes and high quality ingredients, and for the elegant and distinctive design of the packaging. So, um, yes, so I guess they are famous for these candies. I'm gonna try the green one just to see if it's crunchy or soft. Oh, many colors. Oh, soft. It's a different green, taste. yellow. Mm. But the white one is sitting in my mask. <laughs> really? <laughs> so, so the second one already dissolved? Really? The green one's really delicious. No, I guess this is like fruit flavors because they are kind of fruity. And um, I want the yellow one. Yellow one. Okay, I was gonna get that. Okay, I'll, I'll get the, uh, the the salmon pink one. Mm, 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 mm. This is good. Mm. What mm. is this taste? Mm. Mm. The orange mm. one is... Orange? No. Let's try the orange one. Try the orange one. It tastes like orange fragrance. Mm? But... What is this? I don't know. It's like a perfume. Yes, it's like perfume. <laughs> yes. And like the, the other food hall we did, um, mm -hmm. the German one, we had something that tasted like perfume as well. Yeah. Now that's not a bad thing. We're just really bad at describing food. <laughs> Especially European <laughs> treats. We just don't know what these flavors are. Hmm. Hmm. The orange one was like perfume or like a really delicious bar of soap. You know? Hmm. Sorry. The next one is Tic Tac. These are, um, I believe, breath mints because we have this oh, in America. Wow. Um, and then the orange. Yes, my mother always used to eat these. Really? Yeah, I don't know why. She was addicted to these Tic, -tic Tacs. I guess mm. it's the same company, Tic Tacs. Mm. But um, are Tic Tacs an Italian company? I, I have no idea. This is too much for me. I have one. Mmm, 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 it's delicious, it's like orange vitamins. So prendi e rinfresca. Maybe it means something in 
refreshing? I don't know. I really like the flavor of this orange. I don't remember the Tic Tacs in America tasting this good. Now the next one is by the famous Perugina and it's Perugina. called Lozana. Lozana Perugina. And here is your Lozana by Perugina. And um, I've never seen this before. Really beautiful light brown hazel color. Mm. Oh, not hard yet. It just squirted into my mouth. How much do you need inside? What is this flavor? Kind of milky? The only word that I recognize is caramel. This is caramela. So it must be caramel and latte. So maybe there's it's a milk caramel? So them of me. There's some English. Oh. <laughs> Sweetened condensed milk. Oh. Mm. Sweetened condensed milk. Hazelnut. Almonds and apricot kernels. Isn't that interesting? Apricot kernels. Apricot, yeah. Mm -hmm. That's so interesting. And this taste is so complex. This is very, very good. Hmm. Okay. Alpeliba. 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 Okay. Okay. Looks like it. Compana. Alpeliba. Alpeliba. And it looks like it's caramel. Gusto original caramel. Mm -hmm. I love caramel. I'm a big fan of caramel. Do you like caramel? I like, but sometimes I don't because it's thick on my tooth. That's true. Just one tooth? Peace. <laughs> mm. 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 Caramel. Mm. Caramel. Mm. Mm. I was watching um, this program on YouTube the other day and they were having a discussion on how this word is pronounced. Is it pronounced caramel? or caramel caramel or caramel I've always said caramel how is it pronounced? how do you guys pronounce it? what's the correct pronunciation for this word? I would like to know caramel in Japanese caramel or caramel in English and in Italian it's caramel hope I said that correctly this is the last one I saw this thank you very much one. so much stuff um, anyway, the last one is um, called Footballs. Footballs. Yes, it can be. And it is from a company called Vidal. Vidal. Or Vidal. And Vidal. it looks like football. a football. Or hmm. in well America, they would call this a soccer ball. Yes, look at that. And you can just throw well it in the air. Really good well designed. Yeah, it looks like a mm. football, soccer ball for Barbie dolls. <laughs> and what the what is it? Oh, it's bubble gum. A bubble gum. Oh, oh here, smell it. Oh, I need to get a Oh, bubble gum. Oh, bubble gum. Oh, okay. I, I'm gonna give it. Oh, okay. mm. What's the inside? There's something on the inside. Space. And because it's bored. Mmm. On the inside, there's some kind of goo. <laughs> goo? Yeah, like a goo. Like some kind of brownish goo. Mm. But it adds this tart flavor to it. Let's try it. Mm. Mm. Just put the whole thing in your mouth. Very hard gum. Hard gum? <laughs> because it's a football. What would you say it mm. tastes like? A little bit chemical. <laughs> chemical. <laughs> so, what did you like best today? Nagoriyoshi. Ah, the best one. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's difficult. The one. It's uh, my um pesto. The pesto. The pesto. You I like love the pesto. pesto. I love pesto. Always, I love pesto. Yeah, me too. My favorite one. Risotto. Is the risotto. <laughs> is the risotto. I love this porcini risotto. I just can't get enough of it. As you can tell, because I'm eating very, again. Very, very, very delicious. Mm. Mm. So good. Incredibly delicious. So thank you so much, ISOs, for sending us this huge package of Italian treats. I mean, there was a good balance of savory and sweet. You sent us so much good stuff. We cannot thank you enough. So thank you once again from the bottom of our thank hearts. Thank you very much. And thank you everybody for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up and let us know 
which ones you would like to try if you were here sitting with us. If this is your first time, don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more videos like this one. If you missed part two and part one, part one, part two, uh, make sure to check those videos out. You can get there by clicking on that link right over there. Anyway, thank you so much. Have a great day and see you guys back right here tomorrow on Tabi Eats. Ciao and how do you say goodbye in Italian? Ciao. Ciao.